now, and he is going to be sharing today's transportation tidbits, which are gathering and communicating quotes to customers. So welcome, Bob. Yay, thank you, everybody. Oh, look at that. Resounding applause at the next page. <laughs> So we're going to go through a couple of slides, guys, talking about um, communicating quotes, communicating to customers, and kind of the importance behind it, some feedback that we hear on our side. Maybe you guys can also share some questions to the marketing at readyat.com during the course of this session. Um, but we really want to talk through a couple items that are up on the screen here, gathering the quotes, requesting the, the quotes to customers. And the important piece that we've seen is the, is the communicating the quotes back to the customers. More often than not, this is related to some of the bulk moves that might be happening to and from auctions. Um, we're well aware that, that we're competing, we together as a team, against you know, clients potentially moving cars to competitive auctions or kind of out of our control, so to say, out of the Mannheim family. So it's, we take it pretty seriously and think it's a rather important topic that we want to make sure that we're all clear on. So. So why is it important? Um, I think it's pretty important to deliver a consistent experience both to the carriers and the customers. You know, when we're not clear on the price and we're not clear on the expectations on, on the pricing, it, it can create some confusion. Many times this confusion gets escalated up to senior members of commercial accounts. And it really just kind of takes a lot of churn and, and uh, time out of our day-to-day -day activities when we're not consistent in what we're doing. Um, clients are clearly looking at us, both the Mannheim auctions and ready to provide market-based pricing. They want to know they're getting their best price, right? They, they're all concerned about the cost of the, of the whole remarketing experience and transport is a pretty big component to this. Um, the third bullet, you may not see it from a field perspective, but many of the customers that we've been working with um, that are sellers at your sales like to see single reporting. While they may sell at multiple Mannheim auctions or other auctions uh, out there, we have the ability to, to aggregate the data for them, both from an ETA, from a timing, from a pricing, from an SLA perspective. And when, we, when we're able to do some of the things that we're going to be talking about here in the upcoming slides, we're able to give them that single or consolidated type reporting for control, for management, for visibility. Uh, the last bullet really talks about um, capturing and, and storing within our systems, HQ2 and the transportation systems, these prices for historical purposes. So if you think about it, many clients probably move cars in specific lanes over and over and over again. And if we do it in a very fragmented way, we really don't have the ability to, to manage this and be more efficient for those future requests. So we really would like to see if we can try to centralize some of these steps a little bit more uh, than we do today. I don't know if I need to talk through this whole path, but uh, we'll hit each of the bullets individually kind of going through it. But um, gathering the load information, you know, many times we get requests in, in our offices here, and you do as well from clients, about um, details. And we'll talk into the details about it. I can go back, sir. Go back to the... A um, couple things that, that we would hope we can make this process a little bit smoother, and we'll talk about kind of internally where this communication should go to, but um, many customers we know have current carriers, and they've got favorites, right? Uh, for those of you on the phone, I'm sure you could, you know, rattle off some of the key major customers and who they use in certain lanes for some localized moves or cross-country moves, but some of that information is extremely important to know as those requests may be coming into us and as we're working together with field personnel to come up with an appropriate price. Um, knowing a little bit about the historical relationship, you know, we've got a couple carriers. One that comes to mind is Michael up in the Northeast, TJ McGeehan. A lot of relationships with commercial customers, with our auctions. 
valuable information to know as we kind of gather the data and the and the information to provide to provide the right um, pricing back to our customers and back to you. Um, current lanes and current price. You know, I, I had a conversation with a uh, key client at the Mannheim Client Advisory Board last week, and you know, it was a real candid discussion. But um, they have some preferred carriers that they've done a lot of business with. They've got a favored rate, or I'll call it a buddy rate, that is extremely competitive. Oh, and uh, if we, oh, sorry, no problem. That mute button. Um, but, but in many cases, that buddy rate is a, is a rate that is, is really below market and very difficult to beat. And we'll talk about kind of how we can communicate that back clearly to the customer so we don't create confusion. Um, single, multiple, full truckload, valuable information to know. Quite often we get a request for a single car when it turns into truckload requests. Obviously, pricing is a bit different. Um, is rail an option? I don't know how often you guys in the field either present that to a client or ask that question, but you're going to see a press release coming out hitting the Mannheim Airwaves here probably later today and out in the industry early next week that talks about a partnership between Ready Auto Transport, Mannheim, and Ship Cars Now that really brings us a little bit closer together with rail being a more viable option and a centralized option for customers and, and uh, clients. Um, and also the level of urgency. You know, we know specialty sales exist around the country. We know sometimes timing is planned out in advance. In other cases, there is no advanced planning and, you know, speed is of the essence, a critical component to kind of know what kind of price to provide back and, and provide as a quote. So, um, We're going to kind of step through how, you know, some information and kind of you know, get to the point of where the request can come in, but knowing the name of the client, you know, quite often internally we have some pricing structures that have already been established for existing customers, and the worst thing we can do is not know who we're quoting for, provide a price that is contrary to something that has already been committed to a client because we didn't know who the customer was or who the request was coming for. So we just ask for transparency and complete openness. Um, have there been other carrier quotes? Have you gotten other quotes? Let's work together on this to ensure that we are, to the previous slide, giving the best price and the best, best value to the customer. Um, share the current price. Let us know what that price may be so we know what we're trying to compete against. We have the ability to aggregate an awful lot of carrier quotes. I've got in the room here a number of the operations folks that when these requests come in, they spend an awful lot of time jumping on the telephones, soliciting input from carriers you know, within that geographic area. But to know what carrier has already been providing price is real helpful for us, you know, so we're not duplicating efforts. Reiterate again that single, multiple, truckload, or rail component, uh, and the level of urgency. So we know in many cases customers are looking for three quotes from different carriers. And I don't know how you go about that today if you're dialing individual three carriers, but obviously we can provide that internally from our perspective. You know, if I look at Whitney that handles the West Territory, she's got the ability to provide multiple carrier quotes. And they may vary, but we can do that, you know, from a single point internally here from our perspective. Being a little bit repetitive here, but if there's an existing quote, an existing lane, um, we can make sure that we include that in the price that we provide back to you. Again, not in every case are the quotes we're going to provide to you going to be beating that buddy rate or that existing carrier relationship. Um, Third bullet really talks about maybe a bit of a response and how we can reply or how you can reply back to clients. Um, but this price is based on real-time availability and move requirements. You know, sometimes we get some, some feedback from customers that, that mention uh, the ready price is significantly higher than that buddy rate. If we don't know all the details, we don't know all the circumstances, it's sometimes difficult to get something that's competitive or meets the customer's expectations. Uh, and I think the last one is the most important bullet to think about how we communicate back with our customers. They want to know they're getting the best rate, and I think it's important that that's the, the message that we send back to them. So This slide is kind of important on how you can uh, get these quotes. The team internally here with Kendra and Whitney and we've got a couple other folks here, Oliver, our key point individuals, and hopefully for those of you that are on the phone and on the WebEx, know who your ready point of contact is internally. 
Um, so assuming we can get the details regarding specifics, is it load pricing, is there other carrier quotes involved, please, please, please reach out to your points of contact within the operations team to get those initiated. Rail quotes. Some of you may have some relationships with the folks at Ship Cars Now. Um, we have been assured by Ship Cars Now that quoting that comes from Ready Auto Transport to Ship Cars Now would be uh, of the most favored nation or the best price out there. So um, if you've got interest in rail quotes for a particular customer, either route those through your dispatch leads here at Ready or also include Jean, Jane Gatteri who manages the relationship on Ready side with ship cars now. Um, and I'd say the next slide, the last bullet, as we've got on the PowerPoint, we really think this could be a good little cheat sheet to have available for your team, yourself, anybody that might be thinking about um, soliciting quotes into Ready to try to follow this roadmap a little bit on how you can get multiple quotes on the information that we would ask to be included and really at the end of the day the ultimate value that we can provide back to the customer. So. Um, with that, we'll kind of turn it open to any questions we might have. One item that we want to talk about is best practices. And I don't know if Dennis is on the phone or on the WebEx. Sounds like he is. We're getting a thumbs up. Um, I would suggest, hey, Dennis, I would suggest that for those of you that um, have an opportunity to reach out to Dennis to understand the processes that he's gone through. But many times, based upon the proximity of the lease portfolio and the volume of cars, Dennis gets a lot of inquiries from customers on load pricing, rail pricing coming out of that New Jersey market to points unknown. And I'd say Dennis, you know, some of the, some of the things that he has done is really kind of built the blueprint that we've shared with you guys on how to provide the information and how to communicate back appropriately and, and confidently to customers to ensure that we've got a clear and consistent message. So Dennis, thank you for the, uh, for the, uh, for the leadership and just the support you've given through this process, but um, we wanted to recognize you for what you've been doing, so. Thank you. Are there any questions? I'll leave it to the end. Yeah, let's go ahead and go through questions. Um, we have one question from Heather at Mannheim, Texas. She says, will this PowerPoint be emailed to the attendees? Yes. It will be emailed and we're also recording this WebEx, so we'll be posting a video for you to watch or those staff members who may not have been able to join us, they'll be able to watch it. Um, we'll be sending you the link this afternoon. Any other questions? That's the only one we've gotten so far. <coughs> Speak up or you can go ahead and send them through instant messenger or email. Okay. Okay. Sounds like we don't have any questions. It must be a really good overview then, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, okay. So before I go through the upcoming schedule, again, we just wanted to, we can't stress enough how important, you know, these, these WebExes are. We're looking to share information. So if you have content or suggestions for topics for future ones, or if you as an auction want to host a best practice that we can share with other auctions, please feel free to reach out because that's the power of the integration is now we all work as one um, and we can share this information whereas before we all work kind of independently. So um, think about that and send us anything you might have. Um, upcoming we have Thursday, May 21st, so in two weeks we have Adam Wiederhold who works in our operations department. He is going to be hosting process improvements. This will be around technology and other improvements where they've created new processes um, learning, through learning and best practices during our rollout. And then on Thursday, June 4th, Blake Bentley, our Director of Carrier Relations, will be um, sharing some best practices for carrier management. So, if you have any suggestions on how you can enhance their content, please do send to them in advance. And lastly, we'll just say as we always do, communication and collaboration are critical to our success. Thank you, thank you, thank you for participating. 
If you have any feedback, you can email it to marketing at readyat.com. Don't forget to join the Ready Auto Transport Main Street community. And if you need to call us, there's our hotline number. And then let us know you participated today by emailing us at marketing at readyat.com.